This is the area we're focusing on within the uh, paracord line. So we're orientated north that way. So it's basically orientated on the ground here on our display as it is on the ground. Our actual base camp would be about there. And what you see is sort of dunes and sand, dunes and sand with a flat hard pack area in the middle. Obviously at this end we have the berm, which dominates the horizon on the west. And this is our general area. And I'm going to pass over to Alan who tell us why the search will take place in this confine. The operation was just to start mapping the route up through and finding routes round the round the gebels to bypass Marit. So the mission is to search for relics from the Luftwaffe attack on the joint PPA LRG hide is phase one we're going to move westwards from the base camp along the northern wadi conducting a search eager to begin the search the team left the base camp and drove down into the wadi the plan was to form a line and with our vehicles proceed slowly up the wadi searching for clues as we went Unable to use our drone due to high winds the day before, we hadn't realized the wadi swung northwards along the edge of the sand sea. But as we proceeded, we realized the path fit well with the clues recorded in the various wartime accounts. Especially the flat areas surrounded by dunes on three sides at the end of the wadi. Moving slowly, Drivers and co-drivers searched the sand for any clues that we were in the right place. Our first discovery was a tobacco tin lying in the sand along the wadi. Despite the poor state of the tin, we could clearly make out the embossed lettering on the top, showing it had been made in Scotland by George Doby and Sons Tobacco Company. It was possible the tin had been washed down the wadi by the annual rains. Later research showed this particular tin had been produced from the 1930s and throughout the wartime period. Pushing on into the flat area, one of the crews called out over the radio that they had found vehicle parts, and we all converged on their location. Look. Near a dry well, we discovered scattered pieces of rusty metal, and many clearly looked like vehicle body parts. One piece in particular was identified as part of a truck bonnet from an early 1940s Chevrolet truck of the type used by the LRDG. Normally covered by a piece of trim, the air vents were a perfect match for the LRDG type truck. Another recognizable feature was the grab handle, still attached to the piece we discovered. But, but all of that air is probably Qar Ali. It's, it's an Arab living space. It's, it's well known. Other vehicle parts we found clearly showed large caliber bullet holes of the type used by the Luftwaffe. The crew were quite excited. We discovered more than we'd expected, but less than we had hoped for. Despite not finding the seven missing vehicles themselves, we knew we had found the general area where the PPA and LRDG hide had been.